Okay, this is uh, an example of one of our software factories that still is very much in testing. It uh, takes a model from generated using the Microsoft DSL tools and it generates a series of WinForms with grids on them that uh, the display data from a database generated from that model. This was created using uh, the Microsoft Guidance Automation Toolkit and it's created in much the same way normal Visual Studio projects are created. So here we see the testing project guidance package one. We're going to create a new solution. It'll take us through a short wizard that lets us specify the name. And then we're, we see an empty project with a Windows presentation framework application there, which is not going to be used. And so then just quickly uh, by right clicking on the sample folder, we can start our, uh, our recipe that's going to generate the artifacts for the software factory. So DevX WinForm Grid Controls. Choose that. And then here we're going to select our um, DSL model created using the Microsoft DSL tools. Uh, we have one defined here called Dataflow DSL. We're going to open that, load it into the wizard, and um, finish the wizard. And now the artifact generation is going to begin. It'll complain right here that saying that uh, the database data flow DSL already exists because this wizard has been run before. But right now, as you can see, it's actually created, um, created SQL statements. It's executed them. And right here, it's creating a database called data flow DSL and uh, various tables. And this is all generated from the uh, DSL file that we gave it. And so here it's continuing to uh, generate the um, various artifacts, a bunch of WinForms and their designer files. Um, each of these WinForms has a um, DevX grid on, on the form. And we're just going to make a small modification so we can see one of the forms. So we're going to just, when the application starts, uh, uh, initialize a new form. So new um, new port form, for instance. It could be any of the many forms that were just created. And so then when we build the project, uh, start a new instance of it. We can see that it's created a new uh, DSL form um, that was based on the model that we passed it earlier using the wizard. Um, there are three fields, uh, field name, name, and row ID. Um, as you can see, it supports all the standard DevX functions. You can sort and add various filters and, uh, and so on. And then, of course, uh, you know, uh, change the column order and many other things. Um, uh, and you can uh, remove the filters down here as well. And um, that's it for the DevX uh, grid generation, but uh, it's created about so 30 or 35 different artifacts from our software factory uh, definition that was uh, created using the guidance automation toolkits and the Microsoft DSL tools.